His dad built these homes by himself and Samsung got jealous. Come, I'll show you what I built so far. So this guy is 13 years old, guys, and he's amazing. <laughs> what I built a log cabin out of cedar logs. This is the foundation that he put and it took him two months. Yes. Well, let's see if a 13 year old can build his own house. I think I can. Just by using his father's advice, he learned how to cut logs that he needed to carry over miles of forest. After, he needed to peel them and nail them together. Just to place one log, he needs three full days of work. And he needs to repeat the same process at least 30 times. And the next time I went to visit him, I had a big surprise. Look who it is there. How are you doing? Let me give you a hug. Uh, we are eating our breakfast here before we go and see what you made and have a small present for you. What? This is the no. iPhone 15. No. For you to be filming. No. I didn't even know. No, for you. No, really? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, please. Yay. Look at that. <laughs> Second hug. <laughs> Guys, this is so much progress. <laughs> this is it. Wow. <laughs> so how much percentage do you think you finished? 60? Thank so you. it's more than half. Yeah, we just started on the roof yesterday. This is so cool. How much of this is your direction? 95% of this is his work. He can't reach or it's too heavy, too dangerous. You know, he'll ask for dad's assistance. Do you go to your dad and you're asking, dad, I have a problem. Dad, I smashed my finger. <laughs> That's at least twice a week. <laughs> you might be wondering how Samson has all this free time. And the answer is simple. Samson doesn't go to school. But the question that he asked his father is why? Well, he's going to real life school. He's learning how to do things that are gonna basically help him throughout life, take care of himself. He's also learning about engineering and science and math constantly. And he still does studies though. He's in college, he's taking college courses. And he's 13, right? He's 13, but he did that when he was 11. You think yeah. your school is better than the normal kids? I'm not gonna say that in front of friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got friends in public school. Today, what's the plan? We're gonna work on the roof. You want me to work as well, or me, I will just make fun of you work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he's not sure if he wants me to work. not helping you, I'm just filming you. Actually, I do need your help. <laughs> oh, you do need my you help. Hold this right here. Yes, boss. I'm afraid I'm going to screw your house. No, it's good. There you go. He's too short to do it, so he's finding different ways to outsmart his shortness. So you just finished this side. How do you feel? Great. Now we're moving to his side. Yeah. Just like that, we have the other side as well. How do you feel? Amazing. Oh wow, it oh. looks perfect. How you are going to get down now? I think I can Spider-Man jump. Yay! <laughs> it's inspiring to see that you don't need a typical school education to do amazing things. What was before just a dream for him, now it was taking shape in front of his eyes. And he started understanding that to do cool things, it needs a lot of blood, sweat and tears. But the happiest person was not Samson, it was his dad. I mean, I'm proud. It's still kind of sinking in. I didn't think it would be something that he would finish, you know, it would kind of be like just a project and he'd be interested and then start it and realize how hard it is and then just move on to something else. The fact that we're closing in on the completion of it is, is pretty impressive. It's amazing how much progress he has made. What was in the beginning only a couple of logs, now it's a structure taking shape. The building was becoming bigger and bigger, so Samson needed to pull some Spider-Man moves to reach the upper parts of his cabin. While Samson is doing Spider-Man moves, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of this video, InVideo AI. Actually, I was testing it and I fell in love with it. Let's say you prompt the AI. I want a video of a teenager building his 
his own log cabin in the middle of the forest. He's going to create you a script and he's going to use B-roll to match it. It's going to be an amazing video, that's actually watchable. A lot of the voiceovers that you heard in the video already, we used in-video AI to come up with it. Another mind-blowing feature is the AI voice. I will put some audios of my voice and then they will use my voice to create voiceovers for the whole video. This is my AI voice, which is crazy. And if you don't like the video, you can just use edit command box and change whatever you don't like. If you are interested, you can go to their website in the link in the description and test it. You can have four videos for free, but with a watermark. And if you actually like it, you can pay $20 per month, remove the watermark and make as many videos as you want. I have a 10 member team, which costs tens of thousands of dollars, but in video AI, it's just $20 and you can do a pretty good job with it. And now let's check on some songs. His project looked very successful and like every success story, it brought jealousy. We are sitting here with the siblings of some son. Are you jealous of him building the log cabin? <laughs> We all want to build one. You too. You are jealous. No. No. I just want to build one. After I build one, you want to build one? But your well, dad well, also okay. built one. And after your dad built one, you want to build one. <laughs> It's the next day today. Samson is very tired and he became a tree. That was a joke, haha. <laughs> there he is. What are you doing, buddy? Getting straw so we can mud dab the cabin. I didn't understand what he said in English, but yeah, we will see. What is your motivation for building this cabin? I, I saw my dad build the amazing cabin and I was motivated by that. And I saw that it paid off at the end and he was very happy and proud, you know? So I kind of took those feelings and went out and tried to do the same. Now we need to cover the whole house with this mud. So it insulates it. It's called mud daubing. Time lapse. So some son siblings want to come and see what he did today. What do you think, guys? It's wow. great! Wow! Are you proud of your brother? Yes. Do you think he will finish it or do you think he will get tired? Mm, he finish it, that's for sure. Oh, you're sure about your brother? He's having a smile there. <laughs> I'll ask Samson a question that he's getting annoyed by. What's the motivation for building this block? I said that already like a thousand times now. So we're going to bring more trees up to his house. I'm going to take it upstairs and you're going to film me. And you can make as much fun of me as you want. How do you feel? How do they're all changed, huh? What is your motivation to do this? <laughs> I'm inspired by my dad, okay? We're getting closer. I can't see the log cabin in there. It's not that easy to build your own log cabin, guys. And he's like, oh, now you understand. <laughs> Look guys, beautiful sunrise with the big boy and it's about time that I'm leaving. I will come back in one and a half month. You're going to have it ready? It's a promise? Okay, cool. And as promised, Samson kept building. And now it was time for one of the most challenging parts, putting up the big metal roofing. But surprisingly, he found a way to do it all by himself. And finally, it was time for the floor. At first, he was not very good at it. But in the end, he became very professional and good at... This time, I could communicate with him all the time. I'm calling Samson now. Uh, you are going to show me? Yeah. Okay, show me. Ready? He's, he's, he's very excited, guys. You have to say, show me straight. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Watch this. A door. Oh, there is a floor inside. Wow. Yes. This is so cool. Guess what we also have. You have a window. Wow, super cool. And you can close the window. Open it and close it. Okay, so we're going to have a party. Should I bring my stuff for a party, right? Yeah, bring Mr. Beast. <laughs> bring Mr. Beast. If Mr. Beast sees this, maybe he'll text me to call you. I love you. See you in a week. You are the best. 
Bye. Bye. So I just came from Los Angeles here to visit Samson and his family. What's up, man? Look who it is! Oh my god! I love you. So how Samson is finding the experience? Um fun and frustrating. Frustrating? He has a hard time. But do you think he finds a lot of personal growth through the experience? Oh, definitely. He's handling things different now because of this experience, so a lot of things are coming easier to him. He's becoming a man. <laughs> We're building a lot coming. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to come down, guys, to see you and hang out and just make fun of him building this thing. <laughs> and while me and his dad were making our way back, some Samson used this time to carve out the final touches, like making sure his house has electricity and is self-sufficient. And when we arrived at the house, it was time for the final test. Sleep inside through the night to prove its durability. But first, we need a proper tour. Oh, he is! Hello! Hello! Okay, show us the house. Wow! I think you already seen the whole thing. <laughs> yes. I know you think this is cool, but for all your efforts to make sense, we need to actually sleep inside one night to see if it's actually a good house. I agree. This is the lies of the party. It's becoming night now, and it's time to cook our egg. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to eat the egg that you're going to make? Yes, of course. Oh, you're going to make scramble eggs. No! That's my favorite type. No! This is some sun food for the night. Mm. Good <laughs> or bad? Good. You can actually cook food inside the log cabin. Let's see if you can sleep as well. So we have our sleeping bags here. We are having a sleepover. For us to be able to sleep, we need to rearrange the room. The house was a bit small, to be honest. So we had to move everything to the corners in order to lay comfortably on the floor. Samson will sleep there and I am going to sleep here. It started training and we are about to sleep. If we wake up and we are good, it means that that you are successful of building this log cabin. See you in the morning. You can see slowly, slowly outside. It's becoming a day. And some sun has a smile on his face. I'm not going to lie, it was freezing cold, but we did survive. I consider this to be a successful log cabin. Yeah! yeah! Thank you for watching! Bye-bye!